guys, welcome back to our summer baking series. Hi, I'm joined by Emilia, and in today's video, we are going to be baking these delicious strawberry and rhubarb crumble cupcakes. Wow. wow, perfect for summer, perfect for summer parties or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you want to see how to make these amazing strawberry and rhubarb crumble cupcakes, and then just keep watching. To make the crumble, you will need half a cup of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of granulated sugar, a quarter cup of butter or margarine cut into small pieces. To make the cupcakes, you will need 14 to 15 fresh strawberries, a quarter cup milk, two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a cup shortening, one and a half cups castor sugar, five egg whites, two and a half teaspoons of vanilla, some red food coloring, and one cup finely chopped rhubarb. So our oven is preheated to 350 or 175. And we're gonna line our muffin tin with cupcake cases. We chose pink polka dot. You can choose red if you want. One, and this bakes 24 as always. So you're gonna have plenty of strawberry and rhubarb cupcakes to go around. Oh, we just mixed all of our crumble ingredients. So the flour, the sugar, and the cubed butter in a small bowl. And I just did this with my fingers like this and that will ensure that it looks like a crumble. So you just want to make it sure that it's all crumbled up in there and it's not too like condensed or packed in. Set that aside when you're done. Next you're going to take a little blender and we're going to put in our strawberries. One, two, three. oh, all of them, okay. And the milk. Yeah, good girl. Wow. Smell. You like that? In the medium bowl where we have all the dry ingredients, we're just gonna mix them together. In a large bowl, we're gonna beat the shortening with an electric mixer until it's all smooth. Cheese. It's not cheese, it's butter. Well, it's actually shortening, but it's like butter. Okay, it's unplugged. To that, we're gonna add the sugar. You wanna put in the sugar? The sugar is. Oh my goodness! Oh, nice and creamy. Mm. Now we're gonna beat that for about two minutes longer to make sure it's all combined. Now we're gonna add the egg whites one at a time, beating really well after each addition. You wanna do it? Now we're gonna beat in the vanilla and enough food coloring so that it goes like a nice pinkish red color. Wow. Smell that, smell. Red. Now on a low speed, we're gonna alternate between adding the flour mixture, so the dry ingredients, and the strawberry and milk puree. So we're gonna add some flour first, to about a third of this. Puree. That makes this really pretty pink mixture, and to that, we are going to just stir in our chopped rhubarb. Is that good? I think it tastes nice. I think Amelia approves. Now we're gonna spoon in the mixture until each case is about two thirds of the way full. Yes. Now what we're gonna do is add the crumble on top. So I'm adding about one te like heaped teaspoon to each. And all you're gonna do is just kind of crumble it on top, make sure it's quite even. And then just pat it into the mixture slightly. When that's done, we're gonna pop into the oven and bake for 18 to 20 minutes. For the topping, we're actually using fresh cream. So I have here 500 mils of fresh cream that I whipped, and I use a special recipe that I got from my mom. Every time I use freshly whipped cream, I always do this. So to this, I added five 
heaped teaspoons of sugar and a couple of drops of the vanilla extract. That just makes it have this yummy vanilla flavor and you could also do it with vanilla sugar if you plan ahead. Put some vanilla pods into a big glass jar of sugar and just keep it like that and then just add that to your cream whenever you make it. I whipped this until it was over whipped. Usually I would have stopped way before this stage, but because you want this to be really thick for the frosting, so-called for the cupcakes, so to the point where it's over whipped, almost to the point where it's like butter. I just had two strawberries left over. You can use two to three strawberries. Mash them up with a fork. I'm gonna fold them in. Strawberries and cream is like a classic summer recipe. So even if you just wanted to eat this big bowl of cream without the cupcakes, that would be fine too. Now I'm just taking my Cuisine Art. This is actually a cookie press. But you could use it as like a piping tool as well. I just got this in TK Maxx. And I'm using the large star tip for this particular frosting. So to put the topping on, what you want to do is make sure that when you're frosting it or topping it, that you leave some of the cupcake showing because you want everyone to see the crumble part of the cupcake. So what you don't want to do is something like this. I mean, I want to eat this one, but you know, you want to be able to see the crumble part. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I'm just going to keep it in the middle and just pipe it like this. I get you a cupcake plate. Which cupcake do you want? Uh, you want to pick one? Okay. Uh, pick one? Which one? Uh, this one? Okay. Uh, I think she likes it. You like it? And when you open it up, it is pink on the inside and they're super moist. Check out my blog for pictures and a full list of ingredients and the recipe if you missed anything. I hope you guys loved this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to check back next Sunday for another summer cupcake recipe. We are going to surprise you guys and hopefully you will love these recipes as much as we do. So thank you again for watching and we will talk to you in our next one. Bye. 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 <laughs>